place where the land may see There is a home so sweet, the house of an artist With something to show us, painting pictures of brush and pen Up on the paper in a book that's so beautiful It is a joy to read because the stories you find In this book of wonders are some of the most amazing you will hear For the stories were inspired over the ages By God's Holy Spirit who guided your writers long ago John is the friar's name, and you will find with him three friends so special having fun all together. Renata, Leopold, and Tim, who want to share with you all the good stories that the friar John would tell. And if you like, you can join these four friends and maybe stay for a while, and together we will play. Or perhaps you would like to join in the chorus. No need to worry if they sing a little out of tune. If you prefer to play with the smallest, come to a cave. You can enter too. So come, we are waiting in this holy place. We're really sure that you want to hear the stories of our John. The sower. Excuse me, Father John. Yes. Are you painting a parable? No. I'm drawing a beautiful passage that our Lord gave us. Oh, which one is it? It's the one which tells us that what we do for the poor, we do for him. Oh, Yes, for and him. about the final judgment. Oh, and what's the final judgment? It will be when he calls together Ooh. all the people of the world to see who has been good and who has been bad. And to the good he will say, receive the inheritance of the kingdom, because I was hungry and you gave me food. Oh. Look. Because I was hungry and you gave me food. See, he's giving her some bread. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. See, I was a stranger and you took me in. Look, he's inviting him into his house. I was naked and you clothed me. He's giving clothes to the little girl. I was sick and you visited me. So he's not alone. I was in prison and you came to me. In prison? Yes, in prison. Then the good people will ask the Lord when they had done this for him. And he will say, Surely when you did this, even for the least of my brothers, you did it for me. Oh. So if we do something for a poor person, we're doing it to what? Jesus. That's right, Leopold. Oh, what if we do nothing for the poor? Then we are not doing it for Jesus. Oh, so so let's do something for the poor. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Let's do the poor. Why don't we buy some shoes for a boy? Oh, yes, that's oh, a good sure. idea. Because I was naked and you clothed oh, me. Yes. Oh, I was barefoot and you bought me shoes. Oh, oh yes, because yes. I know a little boy who doesn't have any shoes. His father oh. is very poor and oh. can't buy them. He's a man who makes windmills to sell, but he doesn't earn much money. Oh, yes, poor man. Hey, let's buy some shoes for Jesus. Oh, yes, for Jesus? Yes. yes, you said that when we do something for a poor person, we're doing it for Jesus. Oh, that's yes. true. Yes. 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 Come on. All right, wait a minute. Let's see if we have any money. Money? Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, well, there's oh. almost nothing. Oh, what a little. Oh. Yeah, what are we going to do, Father John? I'm going to see about something. I don't know. Let's think. There must be a solution. Hmm. Shoes! Shoes! Hmm, I have an idea. Wow! I've just received an invitation to the annual strawberry contest. Annual strawberry contest? Yes. What if we enter and win, and with the money we can buy shoes for the money? Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. But what if we don't win? Oh. We'll win. We'll plant the seeds and do so well, we're sure to win. Yay! Yay! Yay. 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 How are we going to win the contest? Oh, that's true. What do we have to do? These are the rules of the contest. See, 
Plant some strawberry yeah. seeds in a flower pot. Mm -hmm. Use good soil okay. and they will grow. And we're going to do it so well yeah. that they will be the best strawberries in the county. Oh, yes, we're it's going coming. to win that coming, contest. But Father John, where will we go to find flower pots? Mm. That's right. Where are we going to find yeah. some flower pots somewhere? Look, I found mm -hmm. some shoes for the little boy. What do you think? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Timothy. What? Come oh, here. What's the matter? Can you see these shoes are too big and made of wood? Oh. They'll be no use to the boy. Too big? So will they be no use to him? No, Tim. This boy needs new shoes. Mm. And to get those shoes, we need to win the contest. Mm -hmm. And to win that contest, we mm -hmm. need to plant the strawberries. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to plant the strawberries, we need to find the flower Flowers. pots. Yes. Flower pots? Of course, flower pots. Oh. I think I had them in the garden. Oh, good. This is going to be fun. We need some yes. Yes. Then well, we can get started. if these are useless to the little boy... I can use them. I think I found a little bed. This is going to be my little bed. Let's see. I put the blanket like this. Oh, that's just right. Oh. Here are the flower pots. Wow. Let me see. Wow. First, we have to take out the weeds. Take out the weeds. See? And we also have to change the soil. It's dry. Okay. Oh, the soil's dry. Mm. Uh -huh. Look. Uh -huh. Here is some good soil. Mm. Oh, good soil. Oh. So how are we going to take out the dry soil? I'll give you some tools. Oh, yes. Good. You have to plant the seeds just like I showed you once, remember? Oh, yes, we put in the soil and plant the seeds and water it with the watering can. can. Very good. When you're finished, put the flower pots on the windowsill. Right. Then okay. I'll put them in the garden. I'm going now to buy some paint and towel. Okay. okay. I'll be okay. back soon. Bye, bye, John. a flower pot. Okay. You have to take out the dry soil, put in the good and plant the seed. Okay, thank you. Ah, let me see. Oh, this soil's too hot. I give up. Oh, Leopoldo, aren't you going to finish it? No, this soil is too hot and planting strawberries is silly. Anyway, who says we're going to win the prize? Yes, but uh, don't you want to plant the seeds? Well, I'll put the seeds in, but that's all. And now, to the window. Hmm, I'm going to play. Bye. <gasps> oh no! The little birds are eating the old seeds. Go away, birds. Tim. Hello, Michael. How are you? Are you coming to play? I can't. I have to plant some seeds. Oh, boring. What for? It's for a contest. The prize is a lot of money. Ah, that's more like it. What are you going to do with the money? We are going to buy some shoes for a poor boy. What? That's so silly. I'd buy lots of candies. Why do you want to buy shoes for a poor boy? Because Jesus said what we do for the poor, we do for him. Ah, ha, 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 that's silly. Come on, let's go play. Come on, come on, Tim, let's go. Oh, I don't come know. On. Okay, all right, let's go. All right. Come on, 
Come on, up here. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Run, run. Come on. <laughs> Odolfo, hmm? are you planting the seeds in the weeds? I don't have time to take out the weeds. Anyway, I have to go and fish. If I don't fish, I'll be hungry. What, what about the poor boy's shoes? They'll have to wait. I have a lot to do. Could you water the plants for me while I'm out? Oh, yes, but... Uh, mm, thank you, thank you. Oh, are you going to be a long time? Mm, I'll be back for the prize giving. Bye. Well, it seems it's just me. Oh, I'd like to play too. But that little boy needs the shoes. Rodolfo, <laughs> how, how are you doing? Hello, guys. Hello. Do you remember that today is the prize giving for the strawberry contest? <gasps> oh, that's yes. right. Yes. The strawberry competition. Mm, yes. I'll see how they're doing. I wonder what they're like. I want to see them. Oh, oh, I'm sure they may have been really good. Yeah. Let's see them. Here are the flower pots. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm yeah. sure that's rained a lot, so I haven't watered oh. them. Oh. But some didn't even grow. Oh. It's like the seeds have been eaten oh. by the birds. Those are mine. Now. Oh. Oh. And these plants grew, but then they dried up. Oh. It's like they have no roots. Oh. They have no roots oh. because there are too many stones. Oh, they're mine. This is sad. I didn't These strawberries have been choked by the weeds, see? The weeds are fine, but the strawberries aren't. Oh, that's sad. No, I didn't pull out the weeds because I had to go fishing. If I don't fish, I don't eat. Poor Rodolfo. Too many worries, eh? Yes, too but many worries. There is a plant with lots of fruit. Wow. And a lot of fruit. You know, these plants remind me of a parable. Oh, a parable. Do you want to hear yeah, it? Yeah, we'll just hear it. Let's see. It's the parable of the sower. Mm. A farmer went out to sow his seed. And what's he sowing? Strawberries like us? No, Leopold. Seeds for a field. Ah, oh, for a field. The first seeds that he sowed fell along the path. Some seeds fell on stony ground where there wasn't much soil. The farmer worked on with his heart full of hope and he didn't stop to rest. He scattered seeds everywhere and some of them fell in the middle of a patch of weeds. Then the farmer sowed his seeds in some good soil. The seeds that fell along the path laid there and didn't sprout at all. The birds came and ate them up. In the stony ground where there was little soil, the seeds sprouted quickly. But, because the soil was so shallow, their roots couldn't grow deep. When the sun came out, the plants with no roots were scorched, and they withered before they were fully grown.
while those plants were drying out, over in the patch of weeds, the seeds were sprouting. But as the farmer's seeds sprouted, the weeds grew too and choked them. It seemed that there would be a very bad harvest this year, but while the other plants withered, the seeds grown on the good soil put down roots and grew tall, and they flowered, and the grain grew. There was a fantastic harvest, grew a hundred times as much grain as had been sown, another sixty, another thirty. God is speaking to us through what happened with our plants. Yes, yes, yes that's yes. true. Right. Father John, could you yes. explain the parable yes, please, to us? Please. Do you want me to tell you the meaning of the parable? Oh, yes, yes. Please, 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 please. Look, the seeds represent the word of God. Mm. Oh. The word of God is, for example, what we read about the poor. Oh. Wow. Oh. And the soil is the people that receive the word. And who are the people that are like the path? The people who are like the path are those who hear the word. But later the devil comes and takes it from their hearts. And who are those like the stony ground? They are the people who hear the word and receive it gladly. But it doesn't take root. They believe for a while. But when things get hard, they quit. Oh. And who are like the soil with weeds? The soil with weeds. They are those who hear the word, but along the way they are choked by the worries, riches and pleasures of life. And they do not mature. Oh, oh, I see. And who does the good soil represent? The good soil. The good soil are those who listen to the word of God and receive it with a good heart and produce a crop multiplying 30, 60, or even a hundred times. Oh, yes, I see. What do you think? Yes, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, I have to take this fruit to the contest. Oh, oh. but what about us, Father John? If you like. You can listen to the music oh, box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. The music box. Come on, Tim. Oh, yes. Great. Oh. And look, it's the sour. Oh. Wow. seeds of grain. The land was ready and waiting to give the perfect place for the plants to live. With a hope, with a prayer, with a song, as he scattered it all around. For he knew that the sun would ripen the grain when the harvest time came around. But some seeds fell on the path where the earth was hard and dry and was eaten by the sparrows that flew down from up on high. The seeds fell among the rocks on the stony soil, they quickly grew. The little plants springing up so fast, it seemed they were going to make it through. With a hope, with a prayer, with a song, as he scattered all around. 
For he knew that the sun would ripen the grain when the harvest time came around. But when the sun rose in the sky, those shallow roots began to dry. In the heat of the day, those little plants began to die. Some seeds fell in another place and grew among the weeds and thorns. It seemed that here the plants will grow and bear some fruit before too long. With a hope, with a prayer, with a song, as he scouted all around. For he knew that the sun would ripen the grain when the harvest time came around. But the plants were soon entangled and their life was choked away. Those weeds covered like a blanket and the thorns were there to stay. When it seemed that the seeds had failed to grow and the harvest he hoped for would never come, tiny leaves appeared in the richest soil and answered prayer to his work and toil. With a hope, with a prayer, with a song, as he scattered all around. For he knew that the sun would ripen the grain when the harvest time came around. With roots strong and deep, the stalks grew so tall and green. Seemed all of a sudden, bright colors filled the scene. Many flowers full of beauty bloomed with thanks to the land. And so the field was painted by the work of the sower's hand. This beautiful story is not over yet, now the best part is still to come. A harvest of fruit so rich and great that the farmer will gather with joy and love. Hello, my friends. Hello. We won the first prize. Oh, wow. 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 Renata, wow. look at all this money. Wow. 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 Is that enough to buy the shoes? Not only for the shoes, but some clothes too. Oh, that's great. Let's go and buy them right now. Yeah. Great. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wasn't the man happy with the new clothes for his son? Hmm. Oh, yes! yes. yes. Man, it's a lovely windmill! Oh, it's great! Yes. These are the things that the Lord expects from us. Huh? Today we did a good thing, thanks to someone's perseverance. Oh, oh well, well done, Renata, yes. yes. Sometimes we have to persevere in order to be fruitful. For example, oh. there was a saint. Oh. A saint? Yes. Yes. A saint who sowed and sowed and thought he was never going to reap anything. Oh. That saint was the Apostle James. James was one of the friends of Jesus, one of the twelve apostles. After the death and resurrection of Jesus, James spent his life sowing the words of Jesus and helping people to know and love God. He traveled all over Spain, sharing the teachings of Jesus Christ. But in those days, the inhabitants of the country had pagan gods and customs, and they paid no attention to him. One night, after a long journey that had brought him no success, he came to a city called Caesar Augusta, and there, by the banks of the Ebro River, he fell to his knees and wept. At that moment, he saw a dazzling light and Mary, the mother of Jesus, appeared to him, standing over a pillar made of marble. The Virgin Mary asked him to build a chapel. In this place, she said, miracles will happen because of my intercession. She told him that the pillar would last until the end of time 
and they would always be true Christians in the country. St. James' spirits were restored and he continued his work spreading the word of God among the people of Spain. They also say that St. James was only able to persuade nine Spaniards to accept Jesus. But today we can see how the seeds he sowed bore fruit because the Catholic Church grew to be very strong in Spain and is still very strong today. And it was from Spain that the faith was taken to Latin America where there are many millions of Catholics. You see, oh. that saint sowed and sowed and in the end reaped a lot of fruit because Spain has been a Catholic country since then and has given many saints and missionaries who have sowed throughout the entire world. Oh, I also want to go and sow the word of God throughout the entire world. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Fuck. 